Retention is a mental process that allows you to focus on specific stimuli while ignoring others. One influential theory in understanding how we manage attention is Anne Priceman's filter attenuation theory. This theory builds on earlier ideas and provides insights into why we sometimes notice information we are not actively focusing on. Hi guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we explore Treisman's filter attenuation theory. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you are up to date on all our videos. So let's get into it. Treisman's filter attenuation theory suggests that instead of completely blocking out unattended information, our brain attenuates it. This means we reduce the strength of irrelevant information but don't entirely ignore it. For example, imagine you're in a busy cafe focusing on a conversation with your friend. The chatter and clinking of dishes are background noises. Treisman's theory suggests that while you're concentrating on your friend's voice, the noise is still being processed at a lower level. This is why you might still hear a loud sound and someone mentioning your name despite not actively listening to the background noise. In Treisman's model, the attenuator is like a dimmer switch for information. It reduces the intensity of information that isn't the focus of your attention. This allows important information to pass through more clearly even if it's not the primary focus. For example, if you are reading a book while the TV is on, you are focusing on the book. The attenuator dims the TV sound so you can still hear important parts of the show if they are loud or significant, but it doesn't drown out the sound entirely. The cocktail party effect is when you hear your name or a significant word in a noisy environment even when you are not actively listening to those conversations. Treisman's theory explains this by suggesting that although the irrelevant information is attenuated, it is still processed. If the information is important or relevant, it can capture your attention. For example, at a crowded party, you are deeply engaged in a conversation with someone Suddenly, you hear someone mention your name across the room. According to Treisman's theory, your brain's attenuator still processes the mention of your name at a lower level, making it noticeable enough for you to catch it. Treisman's theory differs from Broadbent's filter theory, which proposed that unattended information is completely blocked out. Treisman suggested that information isn't entirely filtered out, but rather reduced in strength. This means that unattended information can still influence us to some extent. For example, if Broadband's theory were true, you would never notice anything from the background conversations at the party. But with Treisman's theory, you might still hear important snippets of those conversations because the attenuator lets through some information even when you're not focusing on it. Experimental evidence supporting Treisman's theory includes Studies where participants are asked to focus on one ear while different messages are played in each ear. They often fail to recall the ignored message but can notice specific words or phrases like their own name indicating that some processing occurs. For example, in an experiment, if participants are instructed to focus on a message in one ear while ignoring the other, they might not remember the full content of the ignored message. However, if their name is mentioned in the ignored ear, they are more likely to notice it, supporting the idea that some unattended information is processed. Treisman's theory accounts for variations in attention by suggesting that the level of processing can be based on relevance and significance. Information that is more relevant or surprising can break through the attenuation more effectively. You might focus on writing a report, but if someone starts talking about a topic you're passionate about, the attenuator allows you to shift your attention because the topic is more relevant to you, even though it was initially in the background. Treisman's theory has practical applications for understanding how we manage attention in real life. It helps explain why we can sometimes pick up on significant or surprising information even when we are not actively trying to listen for it. While studying in a library, you might be absorbed in your textbook, if an announcement is made about an emergency, the attenuator helps you notice it even though you weren't specifically listening for announcements. While Treisman's theory provides valuable insights, it has limitations. It doesn't fully explain how we manage highly complex or competing information streams and doesn't always clarify how we prioritize and integrate information from multiple sources. 
For example, if you are trying to follow multiple conversations in a noisy cafe, Treisman's theory might not fully address how we decide which conversation to prioritize and how to integrate information from various sources simultaneously. Treisman's filter attenuation theory offers a more flexible view of attention than earlier models by suggesting that unattended information is not entirely blocked out but rather reduced in strength. This theory helps explain why we can notice certain background information like hearing our name in a crowded room. By understanding these concepts, we gain insights into how our attention operates and how we can better manage focus in various situations. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for quality mental health worksheets and resources, please visit my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. Once again, if you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.